To be honest, this is a problem. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, sorry, come on. Yeah, sorry about that. Hello and welcome dear viewers and fellow casuals, you're watching Primetime Casual and this is Tales from the Mud. This is hopefully the final episode where we are going to build and finish the oil drill site. All that is needed after we supply the metal beams for constructing the tower, we've supplied the oil rig drill and now all we have to do is basically deliver a trailer which serves as some kind of construction command center. Let's see how that goes. As you can see, I've moved my lovely image up in the top right corner so you can actually see um, the functions and the a few level of the damage in the bottom left. The trailer is supplied to us, so we don't need to uh, source the trailer ourselves. I've also just noticed that near the road that I have to take to get to the construction rig semi trailer, there's a stuck and sunk uh, Kodiak, which is some other kind of a truck, I suppose. Um, and I will try and see if I can maybe rescue it while I'm already on the way. Um. This is this is not entirely where I wanted to go. I'm deep in the woods now. Oh, now I'm out of the woods. I'm not out of the woods, sorry. Now I'm out of the woods, isn't that perfect? Okay, oh, oh, no, don't. Oh, attaboy. Right, let's go back down here. Climb this hill. Where is it? Oh, that's, that's the Kodiak, isn't it? Let's just see how broken it is. I mean... It's a submarine. It's a submarine, not a truck. Um... This rescue is going very well, isn't it? We need another truck. We need another truck. Okay. So I've got the marshal here. Pulling the bandit out, which is... The, the Marshall is one of those cars that I have mostly to pull other cars out. A 40 liter tank is not enough to do any real work itself, but it can perfectly go where other cars are stuck and rescue them. Sure, it must be possible. Surely it must be possible. Aha! Is the bandit strong enough to pull the 
Kodiak out of the water. Yes, it is. That's perfect. Which means we only, only, then I have to repair it. Cautiously optimistic that I've done whatever I've done to this truck is actually working. The tires moving the crane a bit. Now uh, this is also the route I have to take with the semi-trailer. And I think I might actually run out of fuel. I might just run out of fuel on the way back. The Bennett doesn't even use that much fuel. It's, it's relatively easy on the fuel consumption. Once you get it rolling. This is one big trailer. This is one big trailer. Let's attach it. Why not? I mean, look at it. This is huge. I have... How... How am I supposed to... This is gonna be interesting. This is going to be very interesting. Because, oh dear, oh, oh. No. Um. Um. I'm genuinely, genuinely stressed out. So. How, how is this to the left looking? Is, 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 is that good? Can I? I'll try. I'm just saying, if, if I get that trailer stuck here... Um, yeah, that, was, that wasn't one of my brightest ideas, was it? Of all of my not-so-bright ideas, this might be one of the, the least bright. This is, this is genuinely... Nerve wrecking. Power. I'm stressed out, and I'm running out of fuel. At this point, I think I think what I have to do is I have to abandon the construction trailer. And get some fuel. Twelve liters to spare, even. Eleven. Right. Let's go get the trailer delivered. And here we are now. I just have to reverse into, into the trailer. Which Yep, yep. I'm sorry, for once I'm doing the sensible thing. Again. On the other hand... It's such a shortcut. Yeah, what's the worst that can happen? It's only one corner. It's only the next corner we have to worry about. The rest is the rest is easy. Okay. Oh, 
mean? Sure, there are some trees that are less than optimal. But overall, this is a tight corner. Um. This is a very tight corner. I would very much like you to move now. Anytime. Well, it's just a little tree. Oh. Brute force, come on. Brute force. Yeah. Yeah, it'll do, it'll do. Come on. You can do that. Yes! Oh, look at it! No, oh, isn't that perfect? Okay, okay, okay. Well, this is... I have to admit, it's a bit narrow. And if the trailer slips, I don't think the bandit can hold it. We made it through! We made it through, guys! <laughs> Sometimes I astonish even myself with my genius. Why am I stuck? I don't see why I should be stuck. Oh, this better pay well. It's not moving. It's not moving. Why is it not moving? What is that trailer stuck on? It's not beached? Okay, I think, I think... Oh, I see. The, the anchors were stuck on the ground there, so... Maybe over here? No. Yeah, see, they're stuck. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's unfortunate, isn't it? Maybe, maybe if I go around that. Okay. Okay. I'll be brave. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That worked. Ah, you see. This is the drilling site. We're going there. I mean, it's just a bridge and I'm not sure if I would trust that bridge. But here I am. If this thing snaps, is it, if this sinks now, I'm gonna be so cross. Whoa. 
We've done it. We've built another rig site. Isn't that fantastic? We are out of gas with this truck. Can't get the trailer anywhere. Don't know what the other truck is doing. It's fantastic. Well, this was just the short conclusion of this epic contract i'm looking forward to the next contracts which i hopefully be able to do in just two episodes without wasting too much of your time but i found this very 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 interesting i've learned a lot about how to handle the trucks how to handle the trailers so i hope that the next bits are both more difficult and more entertaining for you you've been watching tales from the mud i've been primetime casual see you next time and drive safe